Black eyes, bruises, a busted lip, certainly not anything that people would associate with a nursing home. When one North Texas family suspected abuse, they didn't turn to regulators, they turned to technology. Fox 4's Becky Oliver here tonight with a Fox 4 investigation. Becky. Well, nearly two million Americans are now living in nursing homes nationwide. About one in three homes have been cited for abuse, and that doesn't count what goes unreported. More and more families fed up with the system are fighting back with their own secret weapon. She started having babies when she was 14. At 98, Minnie Graham was a cherished woman. She has great, great grandchildren. Adored by a large extended family with granddaughters who couldn't stand by when they started noticing bruises. She kept telling us that people were hitting her. And then a black eye, a split lip. Her granddaughters say the Winters Park nursing home in Garland told them Graham fell out of her wheelchair. They didn't buy it, so they installed a hidden camera in her room. Roll over, Annie. Brenna Tiller is the hospice worker who was assigned to Graham. The video shows Tiller pulling Graham up by the arm. She drops her back on the bed. breaking my back. Somebody help me. When the 98-year-old tries to fight back, Tiller slaps her more than once. When my grandmother's screaming in pain, it's completely disregarded. Tiller uses language we cannot air on TV. She calls Graham ugly and retarded. She mocks her. She also sticks out her tongue, sprays water in her face, and she puts a towel in her mouth she just used to clean Graham's body. I just don't know how people can be so heartless and careless. Clearly it hurt when they pulled on her arm. Clearly it hurts when you yank someone by the hair of the head. And it's not just Tiller. This nursing home employee, who goes by the name Lewis, is extremely rough with the frail 98-year-old. He hits her and appears to pinch her. No compassion at all, no compassion. Graham's family filed a complaint with Garland police and the grand jury indicted both aides last summer for felony injury to the elderly. But then nothing. Records show police arrested Lewis, but the months ticked by. The court continued his case 13 times, waiting for Tiller's arrest. And they kept telling us, you can't, we can't find her, we can't, we don't, we can't pick her up. Right now, hi, I'm Becky Oliver with Fox 4. But Fox 4 had no problem finding Tiller. Have you seen the videotape? No. Have you watched no, it? No, I don't want to. I don't want to. It's too many memories, bad memories. You're seeing... Um, hitting her, cussing at her. She was pulling on me and, and slapping me. But I never have had a patient that was verbally aggressive like that. Tiller was wearing a uniform and confirmed she still works as a nurse aide in another home. The state's nurse aide registry shows her certificate is valid and she's employable. The same for Lewis. Graham's family also filed a complaint with the Texas Department of Aging and Disability, or DADS, and showed the tape to an investigator. She said, well, I did see what they did to her, and I'm really sorry about that, but, um, you know, the, the, the nursing home didn't know they were doing that, so there's really not a lot we can do to the nursing home. The state substantiated the complaint, but DADS did not cite the home for any deficiencies and issued no fines not unusual for the state of Texas. Medicare shows Texas pays some of the lowest fines on average in the country, just under seven grand per fine. In Washington state, the average fine is about $90,000. Tennessee pays 64,000. Kentucky and South Carolina, just under 40,000. And in Texas, if a nursing home agrees to pay a fine and not fight it, 35% is automatically knocked off. Dad's completely let me down. They kept on making excuses. Glenn Frosto and other families are getting so fed up with the state, they're turning to the courts. In a lawsuit, Frosto says his mother suffered from bed sores on her heel and backside, and Pennsylvania Rehab in Fort Worth failed to provide the proper medical care. The bed sores were horrendous. I mean, they were big as a plate. Frosto says it wasn't until after his mother died the state finally paid the nursing home a visit. Said, How come you couldn't have done this when my mom was alive? After his mom's death, state inspectors found Pennsylvania Rehab failed to maintain an infection control program, 
records show 16 deficiencies in the past three years and one $1,600 fine. It just uh, left me appalled. Connie Horsley's family is suing Duncanville Healthcare, claiming a worker dropped Horsley and he hit his head. It says the home should have used two workers to move the 75-year-old paraplegic. You're talking about five falls totally in a period of eight months, which is, that's, that's a lot of falls. After Horsley's death, the state found Duncanville was providing substandard quality of care. It's just not right, you know, for people to go through that, what I have went through, you know, somebody needs to say something. And that's exactly what families across North Texas are doing. We're just pushing our head. When Minez Carter's family grew suspicious of bruises, they placed a hidden camera in her room at Heritage Oaks in Arlington. The video shows a nurse aide pulling Carter's hair pushing her head and pinching her leg. My heart started racing and I was horrified and I was more mad than anything just to know this is going on with my mother. After Fox 4 aired the video, police arrested Maria Acosta. She's facing felony injury to an elderly. The state investigated, substantiated the complaint, and issued a $137,000 fine. Heritage Oaks paid $90,000 to settle. Heritage Oaks told us the health, safety, and well-being of residents remains a top priority. The company removed the employee from the facility and is cooperating with the investigation. Are you still working in health care now? Uh, yes. The day after Fox talked to Brenda Tiller on camera, police arrested her and took her to jail. Winners Park told Fox providing the highest quality of care is top priority. The aide was terminated and Tiller worked for an unaffiliated company. Graham's family says one of the most disturbing aspects of the tape involves the male aide. What? When Graham tells him he will be sorry for the way he's treated her, he doesn't say anything, just gestures his response. Graham died about a month later. I think it definitely did affect her will to live. We were there by her side, and I think she just gave up because of the condition, you know. Now, both granddaughters believe nursing home residents need 24-hour surveillance. And earlier this month, Oklahoma got just that. A new law allows nursing home residents to install cameras in their rooms. Families can pay for the service, and the nursing home cannot remove or tamper with the camera or refuse to admit a resident who wants monitoring. That video is also admissible in court. Our Becky, question. You said the nurses' aides in our stories are listed on these lists as employable, I guess, ready to work. What about, I mean, one's been arrested, there are indictments, what about that? Well, the Texas Nurse Aid Registry confirms that a, a person, an aide, has been trained and passed a criminal background check, but only a conviction, not an indictment, would prohibit an aide from actually working. All right, and Becky, what about Lewis? Did you get the chance to talk to him at all? Just by phone. He and his attorney both had no comment. Both Tiller and Lewis have court dates set for later this summer. And you can go to our website, myfoxdfw.com, for more information about nursing home ratings, deficiencies, and fines. The bottom line, that video is so disturbing to look at. Those poor folks being treated that way. It's horrible. All right, Becky Oliver, thank you.